Uh, usually, we, we draw a linear equation like this. We visually believe we can use a line to represent the relationship between the features, which is big X, and Y. And this Y is a numeric target. And on the other hand, logistic regression looks like this. We have a binary class, okay? The label is 0 and 1. And the line looks like a Z shape, okay? reverse Z shape, okay? And Y is a, right? And for linear regression, Y equals A x plus b okay the shape is different however these two different uh average they both uh, follow the same philosophy okay they want to model the relationship between x and y by using a curve or a line or a surface which is okay uh, to fit the original data which is x and y by using a, a, a more simpler surface or a line. So that we don't have to record every data point of X and Y. We only use a very simple line or a curve or a surface to describe this relationship between x and y so in the meantime we can do what we can do prediction which means given x i can predict y no matter it is a numeric target so that we can use the equation to predict y by using input x we still can use x to predict a class or a category a label by one or zero if you input the X features, okay, and we use this Z shaped line to describe what is the relationship between X and Y so that we can produce, predict its Y. Today, okay, we will introduce another different uh, algorithm. The philosophy is a little bit different, okay, we call it SVM. The idea of SVM is like that. I still have several different features, for example, like X1, okay, that is X2. Okay, make, make sure you notice that the surface right here is both features surface. There's no Y. Y, uh, for example, is purple, okay? And this Y is uh, green. Now, uh, Okay, we use color to label those data points. Okay, for simple simplicity, 就是为了简单化, we use only two dimension to describe this problem. Okay, so the question is that could we simply just find a line or a curve? Okay, of course, it is a simplified example, so we uh, demonstrate in the two two dimension space. To divide these classes, we can draw a line, okay? However, this line does not reflect the relationship between X and Y. This line, uh, it specifies a surface or a line over space, subspace. Uh, now, this line, this surface, or this subspace can divide the data with different labels to separate these two different sets of data. Okay, uh, okay. That is another kind of philosophy. Okay, so the question is how do we find such kind of line? To find such kind, of, uh, it is quite straightforward to to uh, deal with such kind of problem. Okay, 就是, um, 我们要用前面那个philosophy, 就是把x, y能就印挤在一个曲面上, 
好，我在英文再讲一遍好吗？嗯、um, ，The philosophy of such kind, such this kind of average is a little bit different from a linear regression and a logistic regression. Right here, we find a surface, a line, a subspace to、uh, separate these two different data set. We do not describe the relationship between x and y, which is its target. Okay, so、uh, we describe a line which can partition this data, these、uh, these two set of data. Okay, so、um, a linear discriminative classifier. Okay, so this line can be used as a classifier. Okay, can be used as a classifier. We attempt to draw a straight line, separate two set of data, and thereby create a model for classification. So that is very important. The model we create right here is only for classification. We not use this model to to describe the entire data set. 好，这个可以理解吧？我们是用这个模型来描述一个分类的方法。我们不是用这个模型来描述。原本的 x 跟 y 的资料，对吗？你看这条线如果一直都在的话，即使我随机的拿掉一一个绿色点跟一个紫色点，如果那绿色跟绿色点跟紫色点其实无关紧要的话，那条线还是还是在嘛，对不对？那条线还是在，你你不会因为拿掉了一个绿色点，影响这个这个区分太多嘛？如果那绿色点不是太重要的话，好吗？所以我们不是描述资料，我们是描述这个分类的现象。And but we see a problem here. There is more than one possible dividing line that can perfectly discriminate between these two classes. Okay, so the algorithm we use right here is called SVM, which is stands for support vector machine. Okay, rather than drawing a zero width line between the classes, we can draw a round edge line with a margin with some width. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. Ideally, there are a lot of different lines which can partition those two data set. Visually, okay, the green one. We we believe the green one might be the best one because it has the widest width. Ah,、uh, 就是视觉上，我们现在要区分这两个点嘛。那你随便画很多条线都可以啊。但是就视觉上来说，你一定觉得绿色最好。为什么？因为它最宽嘛。That is the idea of、uh, SVM. How do we find such kind of line which has the widest width? That can partition these two data sets. Basically, it is a surface. So make sure you understand that is x zero, right? That is x one. Okay. So y is right here. So we like to find a, a a best line, which is this one. Uh, we can find several different lines. Okay, but we believe this one is best. Why this one is best? Okay, because it has the widest width. Okay. So uh, there are two additional lines. Okay, which is right here, the first one and the second one is right here. When we want to calculate the width, we need these two support lines. Ah,、uh, 就是我们要算宽度的时候啊，你就一定要把宽度画出来嘛，对不对？那宽度最宽一定是顶到两边的点嘛，对不对？就就是那些圈起来的点啊，啊，就是我们就可以算宽度。这两个线是辅助的线啊，辅助的线。So how do we calculate this one? Uh, in general, okay, we we just use general terms to describe this problem. Ah, so 下面这个是一般式哈 general term. How do we describe a line in a in in a surface? W transpose x plus b. Okay, what does that mean? This green line. Okay. Uh, usually we use y equals a x plus b, right? But we know we have a lot of different features, so uh, it should be a surface. It should be not be two only two dimension. If you It should be multi-dimension, right? So x usually the x is represented as x zero, x one, x two, x three, to x n, for example. And we have a weight, right? Like like a, okay? So we have a weight here, weight.、Uh, weight zero, w one, w two, w three, to w n. And of course we have B, right? So basically, okay, if we have if we do this calculation in the m dimen dimension space, 好，如果我们在一个 m dimension 的话，它应该是比较复杂的。好，实际上 it looks like this: y equals w zero times x zero plus w one x one plus w 
two x two, and so on and so forth. Right. However, uh, uh, it is a little bit complex, so we usually, okay, we write it in a more uh, matrix way or vector ways. So basically, it equals to uh, we transpose. Ah, uh, 就是我们先呃把它翻过来，先把 W 翻过来 ，transpose what W. So it looks as transpose dot product. Okay, the X, and then we plus B. Okay, goes to y, something like that. Okay, so if uh, of course uh, we can make some arrangement by uh, with the b and y. So here we have a general representation of a line, which is w transpose dot x, which is a vector plus b equals the real zero. Okay, that is a line. Okay. So, uh, since we have two other support line right here, okay, so we can say that it is W transpose T transpose dot X plus B equals to minus delta and equals delta. They are both straight lines, right? So their square roots are the same, so their W roots are the same. But their height is not the same, so their angle is not the same. Because they are both straight lines, so we just substitute the real delta and the false delta. 啊，但是 delta 跟 b 会做加减的啊，这样做加减之后，他们就会得到呃两个不同的截距啊，所以他们就会是平行线。Okay, so ideally, okay, there should be one or more. 啊，注意哦，特别要注意哦，一定是一个或多个啊。这个英文里面有讲哈。There should be one or more points, which is original data, touch the support line, which is right here. Right here and right here. Of course, with different slope, with different setting of X, uh, W, okay, different point will be touched by the supported line. 好，中文再讲一遍哦。就是因为我们是在算最宽的距离嘛，哈，所以一定会有两侧的某的那些点，哈，就会碰到那个辅助线。那当然根据斜率的不同啊，斜率不同就那个 W 的不同哈。那你斜率不同的时候，你那条线会呃旋转嘛，对不对？那有可能会碰到不同的点。好，那我们现在就是说，在这个斜率不同的情况之下，会不同两侧碰到不同的点。那到底碰到哪一些不同的点的时候，这个宽度会最宽呢？这就是 S V M 想要找的那条线。OK， for those points， OK， those very important points， 呃、uh,。Although they looks like a point, but actually it is a point in a multi-dimensional service, a, a multi-dimension space. So we call it support vector, and it should be S because we we will have a lot of points which is support vectors to help us to find those lines, those support lines, and try to and help us to calculate the width of the. SVM line， 啊，就是我们要用这些碰到的点来帮助我们算那个距离啊。Since we we can always divide the above equation by、uh, delta, we can simplify the equation as follows. Okay. Uh, we can simply just divide uh divide those equations by delta, so that the delta disappear, right? Uh, without gen uh generosity, 就是嗯。Um, 在不失一般性的情况之下，那个 delta 其实一点都不重要，所以我们就把所有式子啊，所有参数全部除以 delta 就好了。反正 w 我们还没算出来嘛， b 我们还没算出来嘛，我们就把它 delta 全部都除掉就算了啊。那反正这样还是另外还是一条线嘛，还是一条线。所以呢，呃，那个 delta 就不重要，我们就把它全部换成一了。OK， so uh the equation is like that w transpose uh times x plus b. OK， if it's less than one。Okay, less than one, which means it's green line. Uh, it's green point. If it's larger than one, okay. So that is um, this line is W T transpose X plus B, right? So at the bottom half, okay, the Y is less than one. At the top half, the Y is larger than one. 好，这个高中你们都学过嘛？一条线的两边嘛，好，如果 y 值一个就是呃大于的那一边嘛，啊，那反面那边就是小于的那一边嘛
。然后我们就会有下面这个式子，而且这不是一般形式一模一样的。Know that the delta point in the above figure is x zero and x one. 啊，就是注意哈，这个平面是没有 y 的哈，我们 y 是用颜色做的。We use we use color to to represent y. Actually, y is not on the surface. Okay. So, uh, for simplicity again, we can represent the up the above equations as follows. Okay. 就是你认真注意看哈，就是因为我们现在两个不等式嘛，它两个不等式会 imply 呃会导出不同的 y 嘛。可是这不等式其实你就你注意看，你把它前面乘以 y i， 就是乘以那个 y 的值的时候，刚好这两式会是相等的。If you take a close look at these two equations and the, the, the below one, they are the same. Okay. If you use y equals、uh, minus one and you put it into the below equation, it's the same. If you y equals to plus one and you put y in the below equation, it's the same as the above the above one. 好，这两个式是一模一样的。好，这个是不等式的几何而已。好，没有什么特别。Okay, if we model our problem by using SVM, then we have a constraint right here. Y i times W t x plus b, then it should be larger than one. If we find those support vector, okay, which is one of the support vectors right here, the other one is right here. Okay, we give it a label called x minus and x plus. Which means this support vector is in the negative side of this line, and x plus means this support vector is at the plus side of this line. 啊，我们就是说，我们就 x 减的意思就是说，这个 support vector 应该是在呃负的那一面的啊，就只是个代号而已的啊。So if we connect two support vector, one is x. Minus the other is x plus. 啊，就是我们随机选两个 support vector， 然后是各在各占一边的。And we connected these two lines, and it created a vector which is the black one right here, right? The black one right here. And the green line is the line we like to find, which is the support vector machine line. Okay. So if we make A projection of this black line x minus x plus, which is a vector, right? And this line is if we make a projection by using x minus x plus and project it to the tangent line of W t x plus b. 好，中文是说，如果我们用 x 减 x 加的这条线。的向量去做一个 projection， 就是投影，投影在那一条绿色的线，就是我们要找的那条呃最棒的那条 S V N 的线的垂直线上。我刚刚讲是 tangent line 哈，垂直线上。Then we get this blue line。那大家知道哈，那个线的那个在方程式里面嘛，如果你的那个线啊，就是斜率啊，或者是就那个 W 了哈。我写成 W T 的时候，它的那个垂直线刚好就是 W 嘛，啊，因为它刚好是 transpose 嘛。Here we have a function, objective function, we would like to optimize. 所以现在我们就找到一个 object， 就是目标函数，然后我们要最佳化它。最佳化什么？就是当我们找到这条蓝色线的时候，我们希望它的长度是最大的。哎，它就突然变成一个多维空间里面一个最佳化的问题了。找掉一条 W T。跟 b 的线，使得 x 加 x 减的配对的投影，也就是 w 的长度会是最长的，那这就变成一个简单的那个 O R 的问题嘛，啊，就是一个最佳化的问题。然后还记得吗？我刚刚上面有个 constraint， 有没有一个 y i 乘以 w t b x 加 b， 然后两个乘积要大于等于一的，哎，这个、刚好就是限制式的，哈，如果你没有学 O R 的话，应该会对这种东西不是很陌生，哈。然后英文再讲一遍喽。So S B N becomes a optimization problem, which is in the surface we have a lot of data points, departed in two different sets, green and purple. How do we find a line W T X plus B, which to find the, the those parameters? That if you can find the vector, support vector X minus X plus, and you do the projection, get the blue line, W. Vector. 
the objective function is the length of this projection. We like to maximize this width by adjusting W and B. How can we find W and B to create a line? And this line can have a maximum width. When we find such kind of a uh, line, such kind of W and B, okay, there is a constraint which is that y i times w t uh, x uh, plus b should be larger than one, which is the con uh, condition when when we find this best S V N line. So the method is that that we would like to calculate the the width. So we use this line, which is the black line, right? Black vector, and here. That is the projection, right? The projection. So after that, the width is right here. Okay. So we like to maximize this value. So right here, we would like to maximize this value, right? However, uh, as we uh, as we show you show you before, to so maximize something is not. But it is not that easier because differentiation can help us to find the minimum value. So if we would like to maximize something, okay, maximize this one, and we can write it in this way, we can minimize these things. Just uh, 2 over W vector. Okay, we have to maximize this value. Okay, and we can minimize the below one. 这是这两个呃，当然不是相等的，它它的意思一样嘛。你要最大化一个在分母的值嘛，那你就最小化它在分子的值就好了嘛。那你要做最小化的时候呢，你又希望里面最好是可以被微分的，而、啊、微分要起码要平方以上就比较简单嘛，对不对？所以你就把它平方，因为因因为一个值的最小化跟它平方的最小化其实意思是一样的意思。所以他们只是等价而已，这只是数学上的技巧，他们并不是真的相等。好、哦，这个前面那个等号不是不是那个意思，他只是说你可以这样做，也还是可以得到那个最大化的那个宽度啊、哦，最宽的宽度。那大家看懂这前面在 argue 吧 ？argue max 的意思就是说，呃，我在找到后面这个的最大值的时候，请你帮我把那个 w 参数啊找出来。好，啊，那个 w 参数里面的东西就会变成。呃，其实这边可以写 W 星或写西塔星都可以了啊，因为那个 W 里面会有参数。Okay. So, uh, basically, the the equation, okay, to find the max, uh, the maximum max number of two over W vector is equivalent to find the minimum value of W vector squared. The concept is the same. Okay. 好。However, how to find such kind of uh, uh, w vector? Okay, so we see it right here. So uh, the w vector is right here. We like to minimize it. However, we have a condition. We have a constraint, which is so basically we have a mathematic to, uh, tool called Lagrange multiplier method. 就是我们有个数学的工具啊，就是拉格朗。拉格朗日法，它的意思就是说，我们在算最小化、最大化的时候，如果它刚好还包一个 constraint 的话，那你要怎么样去做这件事情？那公式就是下面这个样子。OK， 呃、uh, ，we will not go over how a、uh, Lagrange multiplier method， <coughs> how to they uh they derive these things。OK， you can go to Wikipedia。OK， the above problem can be transferred to the below one。OK， we uh Wikipedia has a very clear, clear explanation how Lagrange do such kind of uh, optimization problem with constraints. Okay. So uh, actually, we try to find this one. Okay. So um, here it is. So uh, we can find the W star and B star, which is the optimum optimize parameter. Okay, which we can find this line, this support vector line. 
that can lead to maximum value of w vector squared. Okay. Uh, we won't be too concerned about how to calculate the value. We know that SVN's concept is good. Its concept is to find the nearest point. To find the nearest point is simple. Two points find a cross section that can touch the two support vectors. 啊，两侧什么位置刚好可以画一条线出来，去做垂直呃那个垂直的投影，刚好就会得到宽度。那那个宽度呢，刚好就可以符合一个最佳化的算式，然后 with 一个 constraint。啊，怎么算出那 constraint 那不重要，那个数学工具都会帮你算。所以我们就可以，基本上你把那些点全部输进去之后，那你刚刚说我要用 S V N 去帮我找那条线出来，啊，工具就会告诉你那个线的斜率跟那些 B 截距的值，这样就好。好，那个。计算这件事情对我们来说没有很重要，因为套件都会帮我算。OK， 呃、uh, ，notice that um in in our class, OK, the derived or the calculation, but how to find those uh W star or theta star, A star, B star, which is not that important because we have a lot of different tools or visualized tools can help us to find uh calculate those values. We don't have to calculate. We don't have to find out those values by ourselves. OK. We, the only thing we need to do is to input the purple data point, the green data point, into those tools. And we say, okay, I would like to use SVN. Would you please help me to find this green line? And help me to find the support vectors, which is x minus 8 and the x plus. They will show us what is optimized W, what is optimized B, and what is the x minus and x plus, which is the support vector. That is good enough for us. We don't have to calculate by ourselves. We use tools, we use computers. Okay? So that is the basic idea of uh, SVM. Okay. So basically, uh, if we have such kind of tool, what is the difference between usually logistic equation, they will try to find target, okay? It is a binary target. The same. SVM is trying to find the binary target, okay? But usually we don't use one and zero, we use plus one or minus one. Because in the, in the surface, okay, one side is larger than the line. The other side is less than the line, which is uh, what's called minus one or, pl or plus one, okay? But it is the same. For human beings, it is the same. Of course, they, have, they, they accept different features. Those features are numeric. Because we do this calculation in the surface, in the space, and those data points can be can be calculated, so they they should be numerical. 就是我们这不管是 logistic regression 还是 SVM 啊，他们的数学原理还是做加减乘除嘛，还是做曲线嘛，那这边还是做这个线的切割嘛，所以里面的 data point 啊，那些 x 啊，还是要按照竖线那样子排嘛。啊，你要算到数学那样排的话，那就必然还是一定是小数点的数字，就是还是 numeric 的数字，对吧？那么哦，就是有的时候这件事情呢、啊，其实我们越走越后面，比如说你在十几周之后啊，有时候你根本就忘记这件事情。你拿了一个资料，然后里面东西不是 numeric 的时候，然后你就说好，我现在要套 SVM 用，啊，就没有想，你就一定要千万记要记得回想这件事情，就是说。当时 S V N 在导的时候，里面明明就全部都是数字啊,啊，为什么现在可以拿一个 categorical 的资料，然后就好像 categorical 的资料可以做加减乘除一样，不行吗？对不对？红色跟黑色怎么相减呢、啊？啊，刚刚不是在那个 S V N 的竖线上，我们要算那些 projection 啊，那些投影啊，那些呃向量吗？那红色跟黑色怎么相减？不行吗？有时候你走到越后面，或者你以后。把这些基础数学都忘记的时候，你会发现你你常常会不小心这样用，可是这不能这样用，其实就就其实没什么数学背景，好，就是不对，好。One thing I have to notice that, OK, uh, when we derive how to find the best line of S V N, OK, those things, those numbers are all numeric, not categorical, right? The features are all numbers, so that we can calculate the vectors. We can cut it how to do the projection, how to minimize those values, how to use the range method to help us to find the solution of the optimized problem. However, maybe after a few years, okay, you know SVM can do a very good model to do classification. However, you might forget 
SVN。OK， based on this deviation， 就是它的导推导结的流程。It only accept numeric features because when we derive S SVN， OK， all those things are vector based， are numbers。We don't， we 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 cannot subtract。A blue color from a yellow color. Blue color and yellow color, they are categorical features. They cannot put on the axis, 就是 as it 就走了 So remember that SVN can only deal with numeric data, basically. Okay. Of course, there are several variants which can deal with uh categorical data, but that's not the SVN we talk about right here. Okay. 呃、uh, ，SVN 当然它会有很多衍生其他不同版本，然后或许就可以处理 category data。但是我们我们现在讲这个 SVN 就不行，因为它导出就不是这样导的。You can either download this uh data from my GitHub, OK? Or uh I you can download it from my Google Drive, whatever you want, OK? So basically, it is a table, and from zero to 682. So we have 683 different uh, rows, different data. Okay, it has 10 columns. I, I think it's nine plus one, nine features plus one. Right here. Okay, the target name is type, and in this example, we only select two features to perform SVN. That is、uh, easier. Okay, so we select feature. Data. The、uh, feature feature、uh, feature zero, feature one, which is the cell size and cell shape. Okay, this this problem is called breast cancer problem. Okay, so it's quite easy. We have、um, such data. Okay, x zero, which is the size. X one is the shape. And we have a Y target, which is type. Okay.、Uh, we like to know what、uh, if it is、uh, cancer or it's not. Okay. So basically, okay, you can see line number four and line number five. That means, please help me to prepare a SVC. SVC is stands just stands for support vector machine. Okay. So man, machine, and the kernel right here it says line linear, which means I would like to draw a line, as we、uh, we introduced before. Okay, we will talk about C before、uh, later. Okay, so I give the feature which is right here. So here that is that is the feature right here, and here that is the target, and I simply just input those features. Those target to this function, and suddenly, okay, they tell us, okay, here is the coefficient and the intercept of the support vector machine. That is W and B. So that is the answer. That is a line which can divide those six eighty three medical record, 就是医疗记录 Okay, they can clearly.、Uh, Uh, separate different y， 啊，就是就是 y， 就是它其实没有没有怎么样，反正你给它数据，它就直接告诉你那条线在哪里，就这样子。OK， so there is another things we we you you might want to know that is then where is the support vector? So it has a lot of support vector right here. 这些这些点都会刚好碰在那个两条那个虚线上啊。There are total uh twenty eight. X minus that is X plus. There are total twenty eight points which belongs to X minus, and the other twenty seven, there are points belongs to belong to X plus. 啊，所以所以你会发现那条线其实碰到蛮多点的哈，就是本来有六百多个点嘛哈，在那个界线上就有二十几个点碰在其中一个辅助线上啊，另外二十七个点碰在另外一边的辅助线上。好，呃 ，Let's stop right here, okay? And we will talk about how to evaluate different uh. Uh, models uh, by using orange. There's something wrong with this user, right? Um, okay. Some student says,、um, since we said plus one means purple point, so purple point is right here, right? 
Uh, so that is the plus part. So this one, this equation, okay? Since we say yi equals plus one, then this equation, it should be larger than one. Okay, it should be larger than one. So that, they, that fits the definition, okay? The green one, green points, okay? It is represented as minus one, which is right here. So that is less than one. So then we have combined this to uh, equation to another one equation. Okay. We will skip this part, okay, which is a confusion measure. We will use orange to explain these things, which is more, more uh, efficient. Okay. Uh, after we introduce uh, the linear SVM, which is use a line, which is a surface, which is a subspace to uh, differentiate, to uh, separate to their points, okay? There's an other thing, which is, what if a line is not enough? What if in the surface of the uh, feature, x0, x1, x2, x3, and so on and so forth, and you just plot your data on this surface, on this surface or on this subspace, okay? And you figure out, I cannot use a line or a surface or some space to the, uh, to separate their point. So um, where um, SVM becomes more uh, very powerful, that is, it introduces an other mechanism called kernel function, called kernels. Okay. So basically, uh, we, we introduce a line to separate their points, right? So the kernel is linear in our previous example. However, the kernel can be nonlinear. What does that mean, okay, for example? If we, if we have a data like this, so that is x0, right? That is x1, okay? So uh, this data point, okay, y, for example, are minus one, okay? The purple point is y is plus one, for example. But we cannot use a line to to dis, uh, to differentiate this to that set, right? So there's a very smart way. Just take a look at this one. We can always use a function, an unknown function. Okay, uh, this unknown function, we simply just put all x in to an unknown function. This unknown function is usually nonlinear. 就是我們always可以把原本的這個feature,就是x的x這個整坨的那些feature啊,塞到一個你不知道的方向裡面。通常這個你不知道的這個方向就是非線性。也就是說你把這個原本的這個x啊做了一個轉換,啊我們就假設
we can easily use a line or use a, a surface to separate the data point in the projected space. Ah, this is what I'm going to talk about. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. 好，这个是非常奇妙哦。就是原本我们做的是最佳化的问题，在原本空间里面找条线把它分开。可我们现在最佳化的问题是说，我们除了我们可不可以先在前面再多加一个小步骤，是做一个简单的 projection， 就是做空间投影。那我可不可以找到一个最佳的空间投影，使至于在投影的里面能够找到一条最宽的线，把这两个东西分开？所以那个最佳化是同时找到那条线，跟找到那个投影。因为反正对数学来说都是向量的计算而已嘛，对吧 ？So the SVM optimization problems from how can I find the line with the widest width become how can I find a projection space with the widest line? But basically, those those calculation, those computation are just simply um, optimization problems, and you you simply you can simply use uh, vector uh, based computation to find this space and this line. Okay, so basically, it like looks like this. Okay, if the green line is surrounded by the purple line, uh, sorry, the green points are surrounded by purple points, I cannot differentiate by a single line. Then I can project. My data from two dimension to another space, which is the third dimension. So, like, so that I can separate these two two points. That is the SVM surface, and this one should be the supported surface, and this one is the supported. Surface, and if we can find, okay, this is very difficult to draw the things, right? We can find the widest thing, widest, widest distance, okay, which is between the two supported surfaces, and this SVM surface can perfectly separate these two data points, and we can find the widest surface to do so. 啊，就是，啊、嗯，我们就随便的把它从二维的空间里面去 plot， 呃，就去去 project 到一个莫名其妙三维空间。啊，在三维空间里面呢，我们去找到可以找到最宽的两个，最宽的那个平面，还有两个辅助的平面。那两个辅助平面就会抵住那个两边的资料。啊，就跟我们前面在画那个 S V 的时候是一样的，然后可以找最宽。那这个这个这个最佳化是一次可以找出来的。好、啊，这一次可以找出来的。And then the problem is, what is the magic function that we use, which can project our original data from the original space to a new space? After this, okay, we can further project the data back to the original space, and then it looks looks like this. Okay, you have to imagine that this one is the SVM surface, right? And this two dotted line in the sur in the three D space, which is the support surface, and all those lines which touches touch the surface are support vector. 啊，就是你要有点想象力哈，就我们刚刚去那个3 D 的图里面啊，再把它印回去2 D 里面。那原本的平面呢？啊，原本平面现在就会变成线了嘛。啊，原本那个我们找出三个平面嘛，啊，它们最最高的距离嘛。啊，但但是现在印回去2 D 里面，它就变一个圈圈的哈，啊，变一个圈圈。它们刚好会相切在那个 s u p p o r t vector 上面啊 s u p p o r t vector 还是会碰到那个曲线啊。那这样子就是你找到的这个东西，好吗？就是稍微有点难想象，但是好像也不会这么难了。哦，就是你把东西弄到是弄到更高维去，在更高维的地方，你可以用简单的方式把它切开。Okay, of course there are several different kernels which are remain. There are several different functions help us to map or project the data from the original space to the projected space. Okay, so right here, 
Take a look at this one. When you use the Python uh, package to perform SVN, okay, which is SVC, you can specify the kernel you'd like to use. Of course, different packages, they support different uh, functions or, or say different kernels. Usually when you use linear, which means I just want to draw a line, which can separate those data points. It says, okay, I can use this mathematical function to map a data to a higher dimension. Okay, polynomial means I'd like to do a polynomial. I like to uh, use a polynomial function to map the original data to the other polynomial space. Okay, so basically you can select different parameters when you um, adopt uh, SVN. Okay, so um, there's another thing as well to talk about is when you use, uh, where is it? Sometimes your data is not clean like this. So that you cannot find a very um, nicely cut line to separate these two data set, right? So sometimes if you if you just do nothing, okay, and you may get such kind of SVN line. The width is very, very small. Okay? However, there is a concept what we call softening margins. Usually they're represented as C when you adopt uh, SVM. So what does that mean? Okay, so here um, I use a very small C. Okay, that means I, I, uh, the margin is very, very, very small. This C, for example, it is larger C, right? It's a larger C. So it, the line is a convector, it's like this. And usually, usually we will uh, use a larger C if your data is not clean, uh, is not perfectly uh, separated. Okay.